What is going on guys and welcome back. Today for you we have a special silver player review. As you can see on your screen we have the inform Mackay Steven. He is absolutely adored as a silver as his cam spot but now he has an inform right mid spot which debatably can be better because he is left footed. He can cut in. He's got five star skills which is why he's going for that incredible 650k absolute like fortune that is um, a lot of money especially just spending by team of the year but we're going to review him and anyway I will see you in the in-game stat okay guys so as you can see on the screen there are his in-game stats they're pretty good to be honest like I thought they could have been slightly better but then I keep on forgetting the fact that he is a silver and even though Silvers, in, uh, even though he's you're comparing him to golds and all these players that are worth this much, he still is a silver. So in general, he will have silver stats. However, he was very, very, very good, and he reminded me of a certain player which I will release and probably in the video. As you can see, it's got the flare trait. That was the thing I noticed about him. All the small touches he takes are just insane. If you look at a couple, I've got goals and stuff like that. You'll see a couple of skill goals. I'm not amazing at skills, but I can kind of do the standard stuff. Standard sum. His weak foot, I'm going to talk about that first because that's the thing I was want, most surprised about that. I actually thought he was right footed. So all of his right foot shots, they went in. And literally, I only in, until I had a shot with his left foot, decided to check what foot he was. And I found out he was left footed. I was like, what? Because his right foot was insane. Felt perfect, like completely perfect. He's got 87 pace on his card and he feels like he feels even slightly faster than that because he's not exactly small. Or tall, he's like a normal height. He feels a lot faster than certain players if they're taller or smaller, if you get what I mean. You probably don't because I don't really get it myself. But he feels really, really fast and get can get past more or less any players, even goal players. As you can see, this is one of my favourite goals, even though it's kind of a bit lucky. But look, look at that bang, top corner. That actually hit the post, the inside of the post, as you can probably see in the replay. But guys, I would highly recommend him. However... As you would have seen, he is worth around 660k at the moment. He's going for 800k at the time I'm recording this, which is a lot of money, especially to pay for a silver. He does remind me of Ronaldo, and that's no joke. If you look at that, was another one of my favourite goals. Unfortunately, it did not go in. I was really annoyed about that. He is very similar to Ronaldo, just on the other side, because he's left-footed on the right side, and Ronaldo's obviously right-footed on the left side. He is just... I. What else to talk about him? He's really, really, really close quarter dribbling. Like, you won't lose the ball off him. He's just th that type of player. He's shooting. He can do long shots. He can do finesses. The worst thing is definitely finesse. Would you pay this much money for him? Uh, that's that's hard to kind of... Yeah, that's hard to decide because when if you think about who you can get for that sort of money, you can get Ibrahimovic for that sort of money. You can get Bale and, and some with Robin that sort of money. Do I think he's worth it? No. However, I do think he's worth a good 400k. Similar to, uh, like, because the five-star skills, he's such a fun player to use. You can you never really get bored when you use these types of players. Like, you'll see I've got a skill squad coming tomorrow, um, as requested by some of you. And they're just so fun to use that you really can't get enough of using these teams just because you never really get bored. You've always got something to do. If you're not doing well, you can just use him and you just have fun. As you can see here, he's no trouble getting paced at all. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the review. Hopefully you have enjoyed. He's got 9.6 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. See ya!